What's up beautiful people? Today is the day that we get to turn these terracotta water barrels into actually water harvesting, water catching, rainwater catching. I said all the water scenarios. <laughs> catching for my garden, okay? So I'm going to show you how to transform this into what you need out in the garden. Let's go! What's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The Ba, 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 ba. What's up, beautiful people? How y'all doing today? My name is Ricky Jones Jr. and I am here. I love doing garden videos and different how to's and DIYs and things like that. So, if you are new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, I like to know where you are viewing from, okay? See, I have various flags in different countries from behind me because it represents the people that also view this channel as well. So, let me know where you are viewing from and I greatly appreciate all those various things. Okay, so like I said, we have these here water jugs that I did a cleaning on the other video, and now it's time to go ahead and make sure they are out and ready. I'm a little bit late because it actually already rained today, which I don't even know why I did that. You may not even be able to see how wet the ground is, but nonetheless, I'm behind. So I'm gonna jump into it and do it just in case it rains again today so I can be prepared for the next rainfall. So I'm going to show you what I am doing to show you what you can do and how simple it is to make it through. Or hopefully it is. It's my first time, so we're going to try it. Let's go. All right, great people. So the first thing we're going to do is drill in the exit hole at the top for when the water reaches its capacity for this barrel, it'll be able to exit out, in which I have this here piece from the uh, plumbing section at the big box store, right? And so I'm gonna just put this here, nozzle, so that as it makes it to the top, water will be able to escape from it, in which, you know, we'll also put some white tape along it, the plumber's white tape scenario, just to make sure it's a nice sealed hole. All right, so I'm just gonna come at the top, Get a nice insertion. Make sure my hole is straight. That's key. Just like that. We have our hole at the top because you do want to make sure you do want to make sure that the water has a point of exit, um, as opposed to like the top, which. I don't know. We may not do the other one, which I like to do. I like to do like test. So I'll do this one with the exit hole. I won't do the other one. And we'll see together. We'll be able to see together if it's necessary. After another rainfall, I'll let you all know how necessary it is because we'll see how I'll show you all how I do the top. And that top way, its position may allow for it to as well work without having to do what I'm doing right now. All right, so now we have that drilled and put in there. Boom shakalaka. This is going to be at the back so that again the excess water that is at the top will have the exit point and so it doesn't overflow or anything like that. And then from there what we will do is drill in the water spout which we're going to put here, boom, at the bottom. Again, I will have this elevated off the ground, so there will be uh, ability for me to get all the water out. Well, not all, majority of the water out. And so the same scenario, we're gonna make sure we get a nice and clean hole. It's actually some very thick plastic, which I'm satisfied with. And so the exit drain, I have this brass or gold, well, it's really brass, brass, a half inch pipe scenario, which of course this is fitting for all water hoses universally. And so of course to be able to open it, just spin it open or close, it'll be like so, nice and tight. We'll use the same plumber's tape at the bottom, or excuse me, in the um, threading of it as well. I see plumbers do it, so I figure, hey, you should do it too, all right? Whatever they do it for. I don't know if it makes them look fancy. If so, cool. It's making me looking fancy right now, <laughs> except to a plumber. All right, <laughs> now from here, we're gonna do the same thing, which is screw it in, boom. Now we have our exit point secured and locked up. 
All right, so now we're gonna do the top portion where the water ideally is gonna come in. There's a well, as you can see, my fingers are being covered. There's a well here that the water can go in and enter into the water barrel from. And so the one I'm gonna do is drill in some holes, four holes at the top, maybe even five, but we'll do four initially so that the water will have entry points. And then I'll show you how I'm going to prevent all the mosquitoes and things like that from entering the water barrel. So now, as you all see, I drilled the holes in the top of the container, the water container. And you may be wondering, how are you going to keep mosquitoes and things from climbing and laying eggs and all those things in there? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have this here fabric cloth now. This specifically is your uh, fabric cloth that is used for screens on like patios and things like that. I have this because obviously if it keeps the mosquitoes out there, it will keep the mosquitoes out here. And so I'll probably do like a double layer, but I'm going to cut this to be able to be arranged in the top of this here container. So let me show you all about that. And then and how we're gonna secure it here okay you see you gotta think it all the way through and that's ideally it's the last part of creating this here water harvesting barrel so let's do that Just like that, great people, we have the first water harvesting Santa barrel scenario put together. As you can see, we have the entrance holes for the water itself. It's gonna be boom shakalaka. And then we have the exit hole on this one that we're gonna do like that, boom shakalaka. And um, hey, it's certified and ready to go. And so I'm gonna do the second one and then I'll show you where I place these bad boys so you will even have an idea of where you should put them in a yard situation like mine. All right, great people. So now we have two of these bad boys done and ready. And what I wanted to show you all is like a quick inventory of tools needed to do this project, okay? And what you see, I do have two drills, um, automatic drills, which I have one with the circular scenario attached to it, which I also use for my hydroponics or aeroponic system in the back. Um, that one is like three fourths inches of a hole that it drills in. Also on the drill, I use the bit uh, three fourth little spade type bit that allow for me to then screw in both the water spigot at the bottom as well as the outshoot on the top of one. I did one and not both. Um, I'll talk about that after. And then I also have the plumber's tape because it look like that's what plumbers use and plumbers use things with water and I'm doing something with water so I figure I should use it too. <laughs> and then I also have the screen scenario that we of course use from a screen, like a patio screen screen. That's essentially what it is. Nothing more, nothing less. Cut it out in the square necessary for the top opening itself. And some scissors, scissors to cut it all. So that's the scissors right there. All right, and so like I said, on one of them, I did not do a exit hole top speaker scenario with the idea that the water is coming in there. My thought right now is if there is excess water, it will just not fill in, right? It'll just come at the top. We'll see. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. If I do need to do it, I will do it. I'm okay with doing so. I do have the necessary tools to do it and to complete the project. However, one with it, one without it, and we'll see. Now, I'm going to go ahead and place these bad boys in their respective places, and then we'll talk about why I chose what I chose as I do what I do. So, subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you haven't already done so. Smash that like button because you watched enough before I go ahead and put it out and finish the project. All right, appreciate it. Let's go. All right, great people. So, 
I have a first setup set up, okay? I, I want to try it out first and all those good things as far as placement and all those things are concerned. And then I'll show you what and how to do it on the second one. And so, like you see, I have it all here. I do have it up on some center block squares, which is about one, two, three, four, five, six of those bad boys that is holding it elevated to the height that it is. I would probably say each block is about an inch. So six times one is six six inches we probably have clearance off the ground and which you see it the way it is in position where it is because uh, i do not have any gutters on this home okay and i don't have any gutters due to this large oak tree that gives me and produces massive amounts of leaves and i don't want to well i'm sure the homeowner before me didn't want to clutter the gutters with the leaves and nor do i so i'm gonna leave it as is but what will happen is as the water matriculates and comes and fall cascades off and falls off the roof it'll fall into the drain hole and it'll be good to go now what i will do today is fill in some water just in case so that as the water come down it doesn't rock it shake it and make it fall because once this thing is is full it's over 400 pounds okay so i want to make sure it's nice and sturdy and all those good things and let the water do what it does and not mess with anything okay and so i'll just you know do some decor situations around it it is in my front yard so i do want it to look nice and things like that so we'll we'll do some things some flowers or something to try to hide it but then embrace it at the same time okay which is why i even like this color it's a nice color you know it's it's flowy it flows with the color coordination that's going on in the front anyway so that is how that one is right now and that is another reason why we do have the whole screen situation too so that leaves and things do not get into the water itself so think all those things as you are doing what you're doing even if you're connecting it to a gutter spout uh, you do want to make sure that it is sealed tight so that you know you leaves the breeze and flies and mosquitoes don't get in there okay and breathe uh so that's that one and now like i said i do have a second one as we saw so i'm gonna show you where i'm gonna put the second one and how i set up the whole situation yep perfect height exactly what i want all right and just like that great people we have finished yet another beautiful project which i am also excited about now for the rain to come again please rain i'm okay i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready okay so you can come now and we can have some fresh rain water in our water barrels which i'm excited about and then it will you know as we grow and progress i may add some other ones to it so that i have a holding dock for the water and then i want to be able to connect my pvc watering system in the front yard garden to my rainwater barrel okay so all those things will be growing and happening on this channel so make sure you are subscribed click the bell notification if you haven't already done so so far so that when those videos come up you are aware but anyway with that being said i love you all i appreciate you all see you in the next video until next time peace <laughs>